I'm Kira. In the past four years, thousands of you have followed my life in Amsterdam blog. Now I invite you to follow the video updates while I'm studying for my master's degree in sexology. To quote Marilyn Monroe, women who seek to be equal to men simply lack ambition. We're not equal to men, we're very different. But when it comes to sex, it's in our DNA to outperform men time and time again. I looked for a visualization of the female anatomy of the pelvic region online and in medical books. I could not find one that was complete or correct. Particularly the female prostate tends to be missing. This organ has been acknowledged by the Federative International Committee on Anatomical Terminology back in 2002. That was when we still had Nokia phones, Facebook didn't exist and Brad was still married to Jennifer. So in the end, I made a schematic visualization of the female sexual anatomy myself. After Hannah Davis showed off her flat mods on the cover of Sports Illustrated this year, a skinny mod spray started. It's a true pity, the soft fatty tissue covering the pubic bones gives cushioning and protections to the bones and tissues lying beneath. This really makes most face-to-face -face sexual positions a lot more pleasant. Moreover, the sebaceous and sweat glands inside the mons secrete sexually appealing smell to stimulate arousal. This remarkable feature may well get lost when opting for a mons reduction. Being located so close to the Holy Grail, the mons is a definite erogenous area. Lightly touching or caressing her here can be very pleasant. Tease her with something soft like a feather, silk or why not a string of pearls. Place little kisses here and blow a little air. Just be gentle and sweet. In my next video I would like to discuss the female promiscuous nature, which will go into why women are usually louder in bed and why men are like Mondays, who tend to come early. So I hope you stick with me and I see you next week. Bye!